Welcome back to our YouTube channel. I am Habder Daniel and this is our extra math challenge for today. Grade 9, Quarters 3, Module 4, Solving Problems Involving Parallelograms, Trapezoids, and Kites. So first, we will tackle about kites. So, um, we have a sample problem here which is find the value of x if the consecutive shorter sides of a kite measure 3x plus 15 and 5x plus 11. So first we will illustrate the kite. So this is a kite. Um, don't mind my horrible drawing illustration. So it is said in the problem that the consecutive shorter sides of a kite measures 3x plus 15 and 5x plus 11. So in a kite mag habitors, the shorter sides are both equal. So we can now write this side as 3x plus 15 and this side as 5x plus 11. So since these sides are both equal, we can um, equate these two lengths in order to find the value of x. So we now have 3x plus 15 is equal to 5x plus 11. So transpose, we have 3x minus 5x is equal to 11 minus 15. And combine like terms, we have negative 2x is equal to negative 4. Then divide both sides by negative 2 and we have a value of x of x is equal to 2. So this is the value of x. What if we name our illustration for kite as kite C R V E and it is said that the side C R have a length of seventeen X minus fifty five is minus fifty five and C E has a length of 15x minus 38. So the question is, what is the, le the length or measurement of CR? So to find the length of CR, we will need to first find the value of x. And since in a kite, the longer sides are also equal, we can equate these two lengths in order to find the value of x. So 17x minus 55 is equal to 15x minus 38. Then, by transposition, we have 17x minus 15x is equal to negative 38 plus 55. So, combining like terms, and we have 2x is equal to 17, and dividing both sides by 2, and we have a value of x of 17 over 2. And since, since we have now got the value of x of 17 over 2, we, can, we are now able to find the value of the real value of CR by substituting the value of x to this, um, this side which is 17x minus 15. 17x minus 55. Then we will now substitute x wait. We will now substitute we will now substitute x which is 17 over 2 then minus 55 um, let's trace this. Okay. 
and then we will multiply 17 times 17 we have 289 and copy the denominator which is 2 minus 55 but um, we can't minus this 2 so we will transpose uh, we will transform 55 to an improper fraction and we have now a value of 289 over 2 minus 110 over 2 so 289 minus 110 is equal to 179 then just copy the denominator and we have 179 over 2 so this is now the value of CR so CR is equal to 179 over 2 so now um, another topic in or another problem um, that is also part of our topic in this module 4 is how to find the mid segment of a um, isosceles trapezoid so um, I will illustrate what is an isosceles trapezoid so this is an isosceles trapezoid mga inhabitors meaning both legs are equal so um, in our problem we um, we could say that the base one is 20 and the base two is 28 so now we are going to find the mid segment so what is the mid segment the mid segment is a segment that is equidistant and parallel to both the bases so the mid segment is located here right in the center so to find the mid segment is we will use the formula of base 1 plus base 2 over Two. And first, we will need to know what is base 1 and base 2. Our base 1 mark habitus is 20. And our base 2 is 28. Since we now so since we have now found our bases, we can now substitute these values to the formula. So now we have 20 plus 28 over 2. Then add these two numbers and we have 48. Copy the denominator. And 48 divided by 2 is 24. So now, the length of our mid-segment mga cavities is 24. So that's it. Easy, right? So if you like this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you have questions, um, um, please don't hesitate to comment down below. So peace out.